Hi, this is Dr. Ramin Tayani from the Tayani Institute, ophthalmologist and oculoplastic surgeon. Today I'm going to talk about two different diagnoses, pinguecula and pterygium. Pinguecula and pterygia are caused by the sun. Direct exposures to the sun can cause a growth usually in the inner portion of the eye, on the white of the eye, but it can also be on the outside portion or upper or lower. But probably 80-90% of the time we see a, these growths on the inner side of the white of the eye. Patients always come in saying, my eye is red, irritated, what is it? And if we do diagnose pinguaculum or pterygium, then we'll talk more about it. Basically a pinguaculum is a mini pterygium. Before the growth grows over the cornea, then that's called a pinguaculum. If it grows over the cornea, it's a pterygium. These growths, as I mentioned earlier, are an inflammatory growth, not a cancerous, it's an inflammatory growth related to the sun exposure, and it does cause redness, irritation, foreign body sensation, and those are the reasons that we usually see the patients. If we can avoid surgery, uh, we try to. The most common early uh, treatment options for a pinguaculum or a pterygium or an irritated form of those is using topical steroids, artificial tears, avoiding the sun, using wear, uh, good quality sunglasses, which includes a polarized UV protected sunglass. However, in cases where this is more advanced and it's not resolving or alleviating the discomforts with those more conservative measurements, then we have to talk about surgery. Typically, a pinguaculum is something that we don't operate on because the risk-benefit ratio is not in the patient's benefit. However, a pterygium, since it's already grown over the cornea, we can operate, and most, in most cases, insurance does cover the cost of pterygium surgery. The pterygium surgery is basically a uh, procedure that we have to remove the pterygium, that excess growth, it is not using a laser. A lot of patients think that pterygium is uh, operated on by using a laser. There is no such thing. It's a traditional cutting it out and uh, replacing it with other tissue. So as far as a pterygium surgery, it's a, about a 30 minute procedure. We remove the pterygium, the growth, on the white of the eye. And there are some techniques that we use to reduce the recurrence. Let me back up and talk about recurrence. The most negative part about pterygium surgery is there is a high chance of recurrence. However, there are some things that we can do to reduce the chance of recurrence. Those three things are using a glue that uh, eliminates the use of sutures. Secondly, we use a chemical called mitomycin C. And thirdly, we use a tissue graft or your own tissue, either from the good part of the conjunctiva or um, graft tissue called amniotic membrane which we use to replace the removal of the pterygium. Again, the surgery takes about 30 minutes. The eye is patched overnight, and the patch comes off the next day. And there's about a five to six day period where there's a little bit of a achy discomfort, not really that painful, but some discomfort, which uh, you use some drops, artificial tears, some steroids, etc., uh, for the postoperative period. There'll be another video that talks about the before and after care of a pterygium in more detail. But to close this chapter, basically a pterygium is something that's um, come about from the sun exposure. It can cause irritation and redness. We try to avoid surgery as much as possible, but if we have to, there are procedures that we can do to remove a pterygium and place a graft and also techniques that we could use to reduce recurrence rate. Again, this is Dr. Ramin Tayani from the Tayani Institute. Till next time. <laughs>